Welcome back to Newton, Iowa. We are here at Iowa Speedway. As things are getting underway, you can hear some of the noise in the background as the vehicles are starting to roll in here because this is wide opening weekend. This is when the NASCAR Gander Outdoor Series is going to be here in town. And then the following day, uh, we're going to have the Xfinity Series here, the NASCAR Xfinity Series on the same track. So it's going to be an awesome, awesome time. And you have a chance of coming out here. Enjoy Father's Day weekend here at Iowa Speedway. And again, the ticket prices started at $20. And there's package deals for both Saturday and Sunday. Go to iowaspeedway.com to get all the information on that. So it is going to be such a great time. So many other activities are out here as well to keep you entertained all day long at the same time. But one thing we do want to do is we want to be able to point out some of the things they have going on here at the Iowa Speedway when it comes to the actual racing itself. Now, every time we get some racers that are out here, be it uh, NASCAR, be it IndyCar, be it any of the series, even ARCA series, they say this is one of the most fun tracks they go to because it has something very unique. Unique. And what it has is the ability to drive at different areas in the corners because of the banks on the corners. There are three different bankings on the corner. I'm going to step aside here. And Chris, if you can zoom in and show the bankings, you can see the different areas of the bank. There are three different bankings of the track. It is progressive banking is what they call it. There's 12 degrees of banking. You move up a lane and it's 13 degrees of banking. You move up one more lane, it is 14 degrees of banking, which means you could race just about anywhere in the corners and the guys and gals absolutely love it. Now when you come back out of the second turn, you head on down the back stretch. We spin around here, Chris. Oh, I can't see if the garage is in the way, but if you go down the back stretch, that's about a four degree banking on the back stretch, which kind of flattens it out and gives you a nice little settlement and you go back into the turns again with all that progressive banking. You come around the front, the sweeping front straightaway, and it's 10 degrees of banking. You see the front straightaway here. And one of the things that's really unique about Iowa Speedway, look at the start finish line. It's actually a corn cob. You've never seen that anywhere else, but again, Corn Cobb is the start finish line in honor of every, obviously what we have going on here at Iowa Speedway. Now, one of the other things that is really cool about Iowa Speedway is the first racetrack in the nation to install what is called the safer barrier all the way around the track. And the safer barrier is a safety factor that is built into most racetracks that NASCAR is on and IndyCar is around right now to keep the driver safe. Now, if you go over here, you can see what the safer barrier looks like. This is on the infield area and the, the pit area. The safer barrier here is constructed on the outside. Here is the safer barrier here and then these energy absorbing uh, panels are here to move in case there's contact made with the wall. Now none of this is connected. This is all motion. This all can go into motion and this is what keeps drivers incredibly safe and uh, the neat thing about it is it was developed right here in the Midwest. University of Nebraska is where they came up with the idea for the safer barrier. So uh, it is really one of the neat things that's going on here at the Iowa Speedway. So when you see people that are racing here at Iowa Speedway, you realize not only do they really enjoy the racing itself, going around the track, being able to go about anywhere that they can go on the track and have some of the greatest racing you're going to see anywhere. Some of the closest finishes ever uh, have been here at Iowa Speedway. We see people come across the start finish line side by side, you know, inches apart. That's the kind of racing you want to see and it is so exciting. But the one thing I also want to point out too, uh, pan over to the grandstands uh, there, Chris, and you can see that there is no bad seat in this house. One of the things that Rusty Wallace did when he designed this place is he sat up in the area where they were building the grandstands to make sure that every seat had a clear shot to see every place, every inch of this track all the way around. I remember when they first built this place, uh, the uh, the original uh, medical center was in turn number two and Rusty said, no, we have to move it. And they physically picked it up and they moved it to its current location here in the infield so the fans can see all the way around the racetrack. That's how, how much detail they have in this. But you never know who you're gonna see when you come out here to Iowa Speedway and one of the things that you're going to be able to do tomorrow morning and on Sunday morning is listen to this guy look at this guy the racing guy is here Pat Patterson hey, Lou, how are you my friend good to see you good to see you great to be at Iowa Speedway man have we got awesome racing this weekend trucks tomorrow night and then on Sunday afternoon probably going to be one of the best Xfinity Series races of the year. Yeah, you travel all over the place, uh, Pat Patterson, and uh, you park yourself here early every year I do. because you enjoy being around. Well, I like being around David Hyatt. I get to go down and play some golf here locally, which I have a great time. And I mean, what's better than being in Iowa, man? This, yeah. this is it, the heartland of America and one of the best short tracks on the planet. 
I totally agree. Now, how long have you been doing motorsports broadcasting? Do you want me to lie to you? No, the, the, real, the real story, because people have all heard of the racing guy. The real story is I started in about 1979 and uh, started my first radio show in, I guess it would have been uh, about 80, 81. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I'm not good at math, mm -hmm. but I've never stopped. It's been a long time. Yeah, about like you. It's, it never <laughs> stopped. Just kept going. Radio, TV, radio, TV. So, yeah, it's been a great career. And I had a great time. And it's all about the people, you know. People say to me all the time, they go, hey, Pat, you know, I bet you can't. You love being at the racetrack. And I say, yeah, I love being at the racetrack. But what I really love is the people. The people is what makes it good. Right. Now, you have a program that's on uh, every weekend on, on, on Saturday and Sunday. Tell everybody about that. Yeah, Sirius XM Radio, uh, 7 to 11 Eastern Time, 6 to 10 here locally. We'll be live tomorrow morning. Uh, getting everybody ready for uh, truck racing tomorrow night, and same thing on Sunday. Now, do you have any guests lined up for tomorrow? Do you have that all set to go, well, or you just wait and talk, see? I was going to talk to you about that. <laughs> I might might be short of people tomorrow. I might I might need you here early, but but uh, we always have a good li lineup of guests. You know, the cup's off this weekend. This is it. NASCAR's heart's beating right here. Now, that's one of the things I want to mention is that the uh, the NASCAR uh, Monster Energy Cup Series is not racing this weekend, so all the attention in the NASCAR world is going to be focused on the trucks and the Xfinity Series. Yeah, and, and you know, the reason to be out here is because it's not just a race. There's all kinds of things happening at the racetrack, concerts, things going on. You know, Newton just rolls out the red carpet for everybody to come out here and, and be part of it. So we're excited about everything, not just the race, but just being out here and having fun and having a party. Now, you mentioned concerts, but I do want to make sure that people do realize if you come out for the, uh, the, the NASCAR Gander Outdoor Truck Series tomorrow, when the race is over after the checker flag waves, they're going to start get, making sure everything is ready to go uh, behind the grandstands because Kansas is going to be performing tomorrow night. Man, you gotta love Kansas. I mean, you and I grew up rock and rolling, and and you gotta grow up your rock and rolling with some Kansas. So I can't wait to see those guys on stage tomorrow night. Yeah. So what are you looking forward to most about being here? Well, I, I think the best thing to say is that this racetrack and that pavement is worn out, and these drivers love it when they can move all over the racetrack. And there ain't anybody that will come here that's racing a car or a truck that won't say this is one of the best short tracks you can go race anywhere in this country. Go high, go low, tire wear. The tires will go, fall off fast here which means you got to have strategy you got to make great pit stops you're gonna have to you know get in here and dig hard and there's not any cup really cup drivers in this thing so it's all about Xfinity guys and and really putting them Christopher Bell's been strong Tyler Reddick's on a huge roll right now and Junior Motorsports with Justin Allgaier and that whole crowd They've been behind a little bit. Don't, don't forget about Des Moines' Michael Lynette. Well, of course not. Well, I said junior motorsports. So, <laughs> yeah, those guys are going to come in here and look for an opportunity to kind of break out and get their summer swing started. So it's going to be great racing. It's going to be awesome. And you're going to be hanging out all weekend Absolutely. long, too. So tomorrow morning, folks, if you have Sirius XM Radio, it's Channel 90, the NASCAR channel. It's Sirius XM NASCAR Radio, Channel 90, 6 o'clock in the morning. This guy will be on right from, uh, right from the infield, aren't you? Yeah, and want to remind people there's plenty of good seats out here. David Hyatt and his group really take care of the fans. So if you're planning on being out, the weather should be good both days to so get out here and see some racing. Yeah, see, being a David Hyatt, he's uh, standing by. He's over in the wings right now. And now we showed you the track earlier. Uh, you know, Pat Patterson. No, don't go anywhere. Okay. We showed everybody the track. We showed the progressive yeah, banking yeah, yeah. here a little bit ago. And we told you about how much banking was on there. But what does it really mean? What's it really like to be on the track with that banking and that so-called bump they have in turn number one and two? Well, all of these, all these tracks have got characters, you know, characteristics about them. This place does. The progressive banking, basically, for you folks at home means that drivers got options that go up or down that's the big thing we're going to show you those options firsthand we're going to get the president of iowa speedway to take us for a lap or two around this place when we come back we are live